All right, welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Today we have another vintage item. This is a Cos Pro 4A uh, stereo headphones. Um, lucky enough to ha get this uh, in uh, such great shape. I'm not even sure if it was ever used, uh, honestly, because it was in the plastic bag already. Um, I just took it out just to kind of give it to show you guys uh, what this thing's all about and to actually play it and show that it is a working unit. Um, the physical aspects is beautiful uh, in terms of, again, um, looks like it was pretty much um, hasn't been worn or anything like that. Um, this is not a review on this unit. This is basically a, a functionality video. Um, but I did plug it in for about uh, 30 seconds to 45 seconds and uh, heard a little bit of it. The only thing that I can say about it is uh, the lows on this isn't as low as you would expect from, um, you know, like today's headphones. Um, this was uh, a high-end piece back in the 70s. Um, and I'll show you that. Even here, uh, with the manual, uh, you'll see that it even had a $50 price tag back in the 70s. So um, so you know that that was something that was uh, pretty spendy during that time. Anyway, this is the manual that came with it. And um, you know it has some specs in the back here with the frequency response uh, of 30 to 20 kilohertz. Uh, 50 ohms um, and um, you know some verbiage of saying that uh, you know delivering up to 60 watts per channel but anyway that that is um, you know again um, what is with this item let me go ahead and plug it in so you can hear audio coming out of it Yeah, so here it is. Um, the cushions of so I'm not sure if this is the way this cushion is supposed to be, but um, but it is kind of like a deflated looking thing, like a like a tire or something, deflated tire. Um, same on this side, um, and I I don't again I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be designed. Again, this is something that's uh, again a vintage item. But it's look as you can see it's it's a it's a nice pretty looking piece. Uh, it's got this um, um, like screw for for uh, I guess a boom my uh, like a microphone that you can connect to it. Um, it's got your cost logo which showing the left this is the left side versus the right side here as you can see here. But it's in really beautiful shape um, the cushion on top is, is it's a very thick foam and then it's got kind of like a rubbery top um, it's it's pretty hefty and kind of heavy I guess for uh, you know for that type of, or this type of headphone uh, definitely not like today's headphones but man it is a pretty piece as far as the color is concerned too. Uh, it comes with the manual as I showed um, and it had the warning label here. Um, and then it's got this extra, extra long extension cord um, that you plug in your, you know, uh, phono jack there and then it comes, becomes a, a mini connection and then and I haven't really even opened this thing. Um, I'll just show what's inside here. And then, oh, it's got the other side too. So it is a very long extension. Um, and uh, it's, it's gray, I don't know why. 
Uh, it would be gray, but it is. It's gray uh, as an extension. And I'm sure it's it's long enough to reach the, you know, from one room to the other, like the kitchen or something. Um, but again, here it is. As you can hear, um, obviously can't hear the exact sound quality, but it's, it is a lot midi, like a lot of mids um, and, and highs. The low portion of it isn't, um, it doesn't have that long, long extension, super low, but it is, has a, has mid bass, a uh, good mid bass response. Um, but yeah, and then it comes with this, with the original box. Um, let's go ahead and open this up really quick and just show you, um, yeah, that it just comes with the box and all the packaging inside. I mean, that's, that's what it comes with. But that's pretty much it. Anyway, um, again, just wanted to mention that it is a functioning unit, um, even though this is a, such a vintage item. All right. Uh, I think this was built in the 19, early to mid 1970s. Um, and um, it is the Pro A. There, there is a model Pro AA and a Pro AA. A, and I don't know the difference between those but here it is so that's pretty much it I hope uh, this helps you guys out uh, if you're looking at this item at all um, and if you like the video I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and possibly join the channel that's beyond soup where I put up all sorts of stuff Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.